I'm eating three meals a day. I'm eating half of whatever the meal is that they give me. That's it. So it's got tomatoes and lettuce. It's like a salad inside of a sandwich. People who are worried about, am I getting enough fruits and veggies? There you go. And last time I checked, a French fry is a veggie of some sort. Well, if, if, if a McDonald's French fry is a veggie, then count me in as a vegetarian. I, I've been following Kevin McGinnis very closely. He's now on day 46 of a weight loss journey. Um, that's all McDonald's all the time. It's a 100-day mission, 100 straight days where he eats nothing but McDonald's, I believe three times a day. Anyway, let him explain it to you. He joins us right now. Kevin, good to have you. Neil, thank you so much. Glad to be here. Appreciate you having me on. All right. Now, are we getting you before dinner? Is that your dinner? Or what, what, what's going on? So, so this is going to be lunch today. I've got the quarter okay. pounder with bacon. I've got my medium fries, apple pie, a little bit of water to wash it down. We should be good. All right. Now, you've been eating this way for 46 days, right? We'll get into the details. It's not all that at one sitting, I should say. But how much weight have you lost? So 35 pounds down, 46 days in, and everything has improved. Cholesterol, triglycerides, everything better. All right. Now, explain how you do it. Super simple. Just three meals a day, everything in half. You can have it if you half it. So I cut all the meals in half and McFlurries, shakes. Don't be bitter while I'm eating my apple fritter and losing weight. <laughs> as long as I cut it in half, it's all good. So do you really go every day if you're always cutting everything in half, you could take a day off and just eat the other half at home? Or what do you do? So normally it's that, that meal that I have, like this half, it'll be lunch, and then I'll have the other half for dinner. Oh, I, I waited see. on lunch today to have this conversation with you. There we go, well, I'm honored. Um, now your wife was seeing the progress you were making and through no nudging on your own, she joined you, right? That is absolutely correct. And she's about 10 days in, five pounds down. She says it's the most weight she's ever lost that fast outside of having a baby. Wow. You know, Kevin, a lot of people are going to hear this and say, wait, this can't be healthy. He can't be doing it right. I know it's all about portion control. I get it. But you're invariably going to have some people saying, well, this isn't a healthy way to do it, eating fast food. What do you say? <laughs> I say, let, let, let's follow along. Let's find out because, again, had blood work done at the beginning, had it done at 35 days, I'll have it done along the way. Every way you can measure somebody, my health is improving. Triglycerides down over 100 points, cholesterol down over 50 points. Our body can process the food when we don't overload it. It's the, if my wife used a great analogy the other day, she said, if you're putting gas in the car and you just kept pumping, gas would spill out on the ground. But our bodies, if we overdo it, it overflows onto our hips. So if I'm not overloading my body, it's actually pulling from those fat reserves, burning off everything I put into it. So there's no that my body can handle the processed food as long as I'm not overloading it. Now, are you overloading on the same stuff? I know McDonald's has a pretty vast <laughs> menu, but you can't keep repeating quarter pounders, right? I mean, so how do you vary it up? So luckily, I've act they've been very, very um, gracious in allowing me to create new meals along the way. So this morning, for example, I had hash browns with sausage gravy, a McCrispy chicken patty with cheddar cheese or with American cheese on top of it. So I've made up my own menu items like the McKevin, like the McMelody along the way. And it's, there's tons of choices. <laughs> um, have the McDonald's folks been in touch with you? They know what you're doing. I mean, you're a walking billboard for them. <laughs> yeah, there, no, no contact from corporate whatsoever at this really? point. Um, I think, I think, da 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 da. They're loving it. <laughs> well, you have a great sense of humor. Obviously, you know, uh, you're dealing with this is a diet after all. Do you have hunger pangs? Do you have days where you say, "Screw it, I'm not going to go with half. I'm going to eat the whole thing." <sighs> First three days, there was some of that, but your body acclimates. And because I'm not depriving myself of anything, I get to have anything I want from the McFlurries yeah. to the shakes to the Big Macs. So most people diet, 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 binge. I have no need to binge because I'm enjoying every single meal. 
And because I wait in between, I seek the heat before I eat, meaning my, I wait till I feel that hunger pain. Right. Three times a day I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry throughout the day because my body's processing what I've put in it. And then I'm able to, when I feel that heat again, that's my signal to go ahead and eat. Well, doing something right. Keep us posted. I'd love to have you back, Kevin. For some reason here at Fox, they thought I should be the guy to talk to. I don't know why that is. But I wish you well, my friend, and we'll see what happens. We'll see you tomorrow.